everyone it's Char from Char's Fashionation. I have you balanced over here on the sofa. So Rob and I are going to try this. This was a new thing at the Aldi and they're like this is their leftover Cinco de Mayo stuff. Honestly it's their leftover Cinco de Mayo stuff. not bad smelling. Smell that. Okay, now take one. You aren't the only one going to try this. The cat's looking at us funny. This is what they look like. Oh! <laughs> These are surprisingly really good, aren't they? And gluten free. My goodness. Wow. And the flavor that you get on some of these is like. Mm hmm. Wow. I have to say, these are really good by their salt. Um, do you think these need anything? <clears throat> these do not need extra. These are scary enough to be a good, like, yeah, a scoop because they're thick. So, if you want to find something really, really good at the Aldi, especially when like certain festival stuff is over, like Cinco de Mayo. Um, look for this stuff because, yum. Anyway, it has a sweet, it has a savory, and it has a slight spice to it. Not too heavy, not too light. It's in the middle. I do like the fact that it has that. Mm. It's thick too. This is better. Sorry, Frito Lay. This is better than Fritos and Doritos. Oh my gosh. I have to say, if you can find some, yeah, go get some because this is worth. I wish they would keep these on the shelf, not just have them seasonal for like Cinco de Mayo. Aldi, you need to, uh, this is the Quesa Mamita, Quesa Mamita. You know, I for sure, yeah, just keep this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, let me know kindly in the comments below if you can find these at your Aldi, would you try them? They're very flavorful. Um, I would say if you want to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, um, it, it don't matter your nationality. I mean, Latino, American Latino. It's part of the tribes anyway, but this, this is really good. Anyway, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. I'm going to eat a few more of these, so is Rob. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.